Mr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday is January 15th. It is a national holiday, but it was not always a national holiday. There was a campaign that began after the assassination of Mr. King in 1968. I recall that we, the Supremes, were in New York City performing at the Copacabana when Mr. King was assassinated. That afternoon, Johnny Carson's TV show called us and asked if we would come to perform on their show that evening, which we did. However, it was a very sad day for all Americans and perhaps for all the world. Uh, after his assassination, sometimes after that, Representative John Conyers of Michigan and Senator Edward Brooks from Massachusetts decided to introduce a bill into Congress to make Martin Luther King's birthday a national holiday. So President Ronald Reagan signed this holiday into law. There were some states that resisted. It wasn't really observed by all the 50 states until the year 2000. So, you know, it was one of our dear friends, Mr. Stevie Wonder, who actually helped to get this campaign passed. And it did pass in 1981. It was, happy birthday to you. That was the song. And, uh, you know, it was passed, and that was history. So let's celebrate a man whose defining thoughts were about peace.